Hey guys, so it's a little bit raining today, but I'm still going to work on my van today because it's the weekend and that's the only time I get to work on it. But I got some upgrades for my Sienna today for the full-time camper build, so I need to up my game uh, for full-time living. So I got a couple of things and it's both from the same company. It's this 3D Max company and one is a floor mat and the other is this really cool lightweight awning. So uh, we're going to test this out and the the floor mats so this is a um, all-weather floor mat that we're going to try out also so let's give it a shot first is my floor mats and I probably should have done this a long time ago but let's take a look at my old one so as you can see, it's very grimy and yucky and all that bad stuff. And I should have gotten floor mats before, but you know what? I'm doing it now. So I'm going to clean this all up. And this is the before pictures, and let's take a look at it after. All right, so first, let's unbox this 3D floor mat. And these are all-season floor mats. Take a look at the packaging. Oh yeah, this is going to be much nicer than the carpet that I have. And let's see, you can see the thickness. It's really nice and thick. And the back side looks like uh, it's got this, this rough material so it'll grip your, your, um, your current carpet a lot better. And it's got some of those anchors that the Sienna comes with, so we're going to use that too. So let's uh, clean up the, the Sienna and give it a shot. So you can see the Sienna has these two peg things, but it uh, seems like I lost one. Uh, but I still have the other one. Should be good enough. All right, so I... The carpet is pretty clean, but I've seen this video where if you use this massager and vibrate it on the carpet, it's supposed to uh, loosen everything up and let you have a deeper clean. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Look at that. So it definitely loosened up some stuff that I was unable to get before. I think it actually works. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's install the first driver's side one, see what it looks like. Let's take a look. Not bad. The fit is really nice. All right, so I got the hook in so it doesn't slide. Take out that logo uh, cover. I think it looks really good. And it's going to be water resistant and dirt resistant. And it's going to be easier for me to clean. So let's do the other All side. Right. Yeah, I know. This side sucks too. <laughs> like I said, I should have done it a lot earlier. So let's clean it up. Alright, so this is the other side. Let's give it a shot, see how well it fits. So there's a definitely a unique contour to this Sienna, particularly on this side. And again, fits perfect. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's the way it looks here. You can see all these contours fit great. It's going to be real easy to clean up. And if you spill some water, still pretty good for a certain amount of water looks good okay so next up is this lightweight car awning again it's by the same company this 3d max company so let's open it up and see what it looks like all right you know and when they say lightweight it, it actually is pretty lightweight for a car awning you know they're often really heavy Alright, let's take a look at it. 
So it has this nice waterproof material right here. It's kind of like the floor mat material in, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, zips up. This is the first time I'm looking at it myself. So let's see what's on the inside. Okay. It's got some... All right, so a, a mallet for you to put your stakes in the ground, which is cool. Okay, your ropes to secure everything. All right, so it looks like this is the mounting hardware. Looks pretty easy with these uh, twist nuts. Okay. Here's the awning itself. All right, so I'm gonna. Okay, so here's the the sticks to the awning. And what else is here? Okay, so this stays attached to the container. Looks the these bolts. So, and so we'll follow the directions and install this and give it a shot. I think it's pretty cool so far. Okay, so on the back side, here's the mounting rail. So it's made out of this aluminum material. That's why it's light and strong. So it's adjustable. So wherever your um, your racks go, you should be able to slide it accordingly. So my, my rack is pretty unique. So we're going to need to find a way to um, put it on my rack. Okay, so if you look at the directions, the the mounting bracket's supposed to go on this crossbar and you put it through the crossbar like that but let's look at my van so I have this rack which is covering up that crossbar so I can't certainly can't put it inside this cargo tray that's not gonna make any sense but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it up to this crossbar right here and I think because of the flexibility of this awning mount I'm gonna be able to do it no problem All right so I got that awning up that's the way it looks. I think it fits my rack really nice. It's rather perfect. Look at that. So let's look at the mounting and I'll show you what I did. So even if you have this cage type, uh, you should still be able to get it in like I did. So I just put it in between those two bars. Of course, same thing on this side. So it just locks in with these um, these nuts which makes it really easy all right so these come with these rubber caps so that uh, you don't get stuff caught up on them that's the way it looks like up from top man looks like it was made for this rack so that's cool so let's uh, give it a shot Alright guys, so here's the mock-up in my driveway. So it's not the best place. I could do better angles, but I'd be on my neighbor's yard and I really don't want to do that. So over here, this guy I just wrapped on my um, rear view mirror and I think it looks pretty darn good. And there's a slight breeze in the air today, but it's not blowing really hard or anything like that. So you can't really see how well it's holding up, but it's actually very secure. I got it. Okay, so here's a breeze kicking up. You can see it flapping a little bit. Um, I have it to my lightweight ladder over there and 
over here on my uh, faucet. <laughs> but anyways, man, I, I think it's really great. It's really lightweight. It was easy to install. So uh, I think it'll be a great addition to my full-time camper. So let's pack it up. Oh, I see. I think you need to unzip it to, to roll it up better. Okay, so there's some Velcro that you use to hold it in place. So you don't have to try to zip it and hold it at the same time. The Velcro will help you with that. Probably should have zipped it on before I rolled it into it. But it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm not going to zip it up all the way. I can get my sticks in. The bag with all the the stakes and the hammer. All right. That's the way it goes, pretty easy. All right, that was pretty easy, but what will make it even easier than me shoving stuff underneath. But next time, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna move this zipper over here, then I'll just put things in from the top. That's gonna to make my life a lot easier. So that's what I'll do next time. So for now, I'm done.